Monday morning. Is it snow or is it hailstone? While it's raining, just sorting out stuff for making the dough for the bread, the world's biggest piece of bread. Um, gonna go up now and try and get some water off the field with the mini again. John's already set off. I'm just gonna shoot up now in the buggy. Yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> that kind of sums it up, doesn't it? We're gonna dig a trench, try and get this water to go down this drain that works. Yeah, the other day when I came, the water was up to here. Yeah, it's still flowing. See the roots in it. Uh, not going to solve anything really, are we? I thought that water was still up here. So I was going to move them nettles out the way so it could come straight across in. Still some water flowing here. So this drain here is bubbling up because it can't get underneath the road. So it's coming up here, flowing down there, getting in another drain there, then flowing backwards to that manhole. So what we'll do is we'll score a trench across. So rather than it going all the way up to where the diggers part, it just goes straight down there. We've got We've had some horrendous rain in the last sort of hour. But blue skies now and there's quite a wind, not so much by the trees but in the field there is. So hopefully the wind will dry stuff out. John's here now with the digger anyway. If we get rid of this bit of a hump here, the water can find its way into there easier. But it, instead of going all the way down to the bottom and flowing around in a circle, Look when these branches going down the drain. That's a tree root, that one now. Track in a little bit, get a bit closer. Is that a tree in it, I think? Peeling off the bark. Nice snappy noise of the root out the way. That's what we want. See this air bubbling up as well. Because all the water's coming this way, but just can't get that way because the drains are blocked with the tree roots. There's only one we think working. Looks like there's some in here as well bubbling. Now we've moved the soil. Unless it's just oozing out of that stone that was an old track. Just go that way another foot. Yeah. Yeah, it's bubbling up there. Let's go a bit deeper again and see what we can see. Yeah, I bet you that's an old drain there. Let's have a look now. I don't know which way it could be coming into there though. Well, I suppose it's not, that's why it's bubbling, isn't it? Anyway, we'll dig a trench here. Now, that's definitely bubbling there, so the next scoop we'll probably see again. There we go. Drop a bubbling up that. It's 
some flow there. It's quite satisfying that now. <laughs> So that's, problem is the water gets in this field off the road and then can't get back out. You can obviously hear the road there. See any cars going past. Yeah, there you go. Wagon. So now that should find its way into here in a second. This was underwater last week when we were looking. I'll just fill up now over the top. There we go. It's pretty satisfying now. The annoying thing is the soil's nearly dry underneath in places. It's just so compact to the top from the weight of the water. Yeah, we're going to try and get to that other hollow there. I think we've already dropped the water level or the pressure because this was bubbling a minute ago but it isn't now which is good news. We'll just make a little stream so if it does bubble it'll go that way but that, well you'll see in a minute John's going to put the bucket in just to show you how deep it is. We've got some flow there now. Proper job. Pretty much got rid of this flood now. Need to sort that one, but that one was being caused by this running down. We're going to go to where them bushes are there, see if we can stop it coming up there because it sort of bubbles out there sometimes as well. Yeah, so it kind of flowing out here, but there should be a tree, it should be a drain there that it should go down. Instead, it's bubbling up and into the field. So the, if, we dig, if we dig down and try and find the drain, what might happen is we might get more flowing on the field rather than less. The drain really needs unblocking. It flows that way. Well, that big willow tree, I am guessing, is what's blocked it. Remember Neto? It was a little bit like Aldi. Well, uh, that's a carrier bag. Finding one of them makes you think you're going to hit an electric cable when you're digging. There's the rain again. Sideways rain now. Right, there's the road. We think there's a drain runs all the way along here. That big tree blocked it. So the water bubbles up, comes into the field, overloads the field drainage, and any field drainage that come this way can't go through. So we don't know where to dig the other side, try and find it. Hopefully it might be a bit clearer and then dig a horseshoe round so that the water can bubble up here, come round the loop and then back down the drain again. But the drain also has the roots sticking out of it at that far end into the manhole, that's the problem. We're just trying to find a stone, but can you see all the roots? Because there's obviously a French drain along there. So we thought if we dig down and find the gravel for it, but you can just see huge tree roots just obviously tapping into it. That could be aggregate now. Yeah, that's the stone for the French drain, isn't it? We've let some water go now from the embankment into where we've exposed the stone. I might throw some dye in it and see if it's turning up in the manhole or not. We'll drop some of this in now. See what happens. See if it turns up in a manhole. So I'd die in it for a minute or so now and it's just sort of swirling there. It's 
So I think it could be dropping. I'll go and have a look at the manhole now. That's down there. Can't see any green dye yet. I'm not sure whether it's flowing better or worse since we've rooted down to the gravel. But it's this has slowed down a little bit at least. But yeah, that's where the digger is up there. That's where we've just rooted. But yeah, this is what you call a French drain, so it's a drain stoned up to the top all the way along this embankment. And it's just completely clogged with these trees. So that manhole was there, no green did appear in it. But when you look in here now, the green dye has dropped and left some. It's hard to see on the camera, but it's left some on the soil. Sort of through there. So that's, that's green dye on the soil. So that tells me that that's now soaking through that gravel. So what we're going to now do is go over to the other flood that's now not getting any bigger because we've got that drain going across and we'll find the gravel that side of that drain and uh, see if we can get that water to go down it quicker through the gravel by scraping the sort of slop off the top. More importantly though, Morgan has arrived with dinner. I brought the buggy, not not because I didn't want to walk, but you got less chance of slipping over in it, and it's dry. Every time it rains, I can shelter in the buggy. John's all right; he's in the digger cab with a with a heater, but I'm not. Ideal, what we need in these conditions: something warm, more rain. This is proving a bit more difficult to find the aggregate because we're digging in a foot of water. Um, but hopefully, if we find the stone, it should start to drain away quicker. We actually think that it's bubbling up here, not disappearing, which is slightly annoying. a random piece of pipe here but yeah see all the water just behind the hedge the, the fence don't know where it's going to we think there might be a land drain somewhere here so we're just going to see if we can see a shadow in the clay and dig down to it it's probably going to be full of water but at least we can get this water to go into it as it drops I think it goes up there pretty dry under there isn't it just the surface water's compacted and it can't get away if we scrape the top soil and go in layers we might see a stripe where the draining machine's been through in the past we're looking for a drain going that way but it looks like we found one going this way it's definitely a shadow there see the two lines the only shadow you can actually see is me at the moment, but trust me, there's definitely something there. We're now sort of six inches down, there's still a line here. Still a stripe. About a foot into the clay now. Now, there it is. Just kissed it there with the bucket, I think. There it is sandstone clay drain oh you can see it bubbling up now go and get a spade yeah we found that but really there's one going this way we want to find so we'll keep digging that way now if we find that one and it's deeper than that we could trace that back underneath that hollow and stone it up yeah, I've just realised we started going that way when we couldn't find it that way, but maybe when we put it in, we went parallel with the fence line, not the way it's drilled. Remember doing it years ago? I don't think we had the Shelton drainer then. I think we had a little old one. They only went about 900 deep. So we'll keep going that way, chase that shadow that we can see there. 
Let's see if we can find one coming this way. It's going to end up like the Suez Canal. That's that drain we found. That's the shadow all the way. Can you see it? There. We're just going to keep going until we find this drain we put in. You can see how archaeology archaeologists get excited when you can see shadows in soil because obviously like this is what i don't know 200 years old 100 years when that that victorian drain was put in but sometimes they find stuff from like romans don't they right we think we may have found it because we've got water sort of oozing up around here somewhere and the soil looks like it's been disturbed Yeah, see, it's quite soft there. Still see that other drain now. Yeah, that's well soggy, that clay there. Looks like there's a drain there and a drain there though, doesn't it? You can practically see it bubbling out there now. So there's definitely a drain down there. So we'll try and expose it. See what it fills up to. Hopefully it'll fill up level lower than this water table on the surface. Then that way then we'll let that water go into here. It's fur bubbling that now. There's Rob with a spade anyway, so we can have a good route in a minute. Yeah, we have to dig about 15 metres maybe. So that's bubbling up there. So we'll see what level it rises to and hopefully it'll rise but no higher than the outside. And then if that's the case, we'll let the outside go in here. Just dug down with a spade and took one of these pipes out. You can see how they're not flowing. Just completely silted up. That should be hollow in the middle. See? Oh, that's just silt. Amazing though, the water's still finding its way along it though. Like following along the the clay rather than through it so I'll put it back in it's not that it works like they must have had some like good narrow spades like that Rob and then they've dug a trench I don't know what is it two three foot deep dead smooth across the field every about seven yards or six meters maybe in metric see how they're only like a foot long as well so you just the labouring, putting all them down and making them, and I've just cracked my nail down to the pink bit, which is a bit annoying. Broken nail. Broken nail. Oh no! <laughs> Quick, Rob, get your spotted jotter out and write that one down. Can't even hear you. Six six oh six. Write in your spotted jotter. Right in your spotter, Jota. Right, I'm in the manhole now. Let's see what we can see. Need a torch. Water there coming. Come up around here. Roots. Right, we stood in this manhole, so a few years ago we dug down because one of these roots had pushed the lid off, gone down and into there. And we dug next to it to pull it all up. We pulled it out and then dug next to it and pulled a bit more out. Well, it's obviously done it again, but from the other direction. So we'll, we'll dig down now and see if we can pull all that root mass out. 
We've dug down here to expose the French drain. Look at all the tree roots. It's like a beard into the drain. And then they're finding their way into the pipes and blocking it. Look at the roots in that. You see it's totally blocked. Chuck it off with a digger and replace it. Fish that pipe out, John. Well, that's where it's bubbling out. It's that corner, really, you could do with clearing. Yeah, that bit there, see it. That's what's not helping. Hopefully it'll flow in here now. Massive roots. Coming in. That's better. Look at that now, straight out. It's like history repeating itself. Just be nice if this French drain worked though. Just managed to pull that out. Pipe. It's nuts in it, and then that's that one there is still full. Like a dead dead snake. Now we've unblocked this drain there and it's got it going into the manhole. This has started to drop where it's been bubbling up. We still not solve the problem when it rains heavy. The road drains get overwhelmed because they're blocked and flood the field. But at least now when it stops raining, the field can now drain back underneath the motorway. Uh, John's now, the hole we dug before that was just holding its own, he's now dug let the water away to that because the whole system's dropping now because this drain goes that way and then that way. So hopefully tomorrow that flooded have gone as well as this one that's gone today. We've now sort of got blue skies after all that heavy rain before. But yeah, that's barreling across there. Heading back and I'm just looking at the skyfall wheat. It's starting to nearly fill across the rows now, which is good. Hopefully it'll just keep growing. Still a few puddles in it though. John's just going to get the mixer, pan mixer on because we're going to have a look how much angle we can tip it to know whether we can mix the dough with it. So we're gonna get the pallet forks and stick it on and we'll see what we can, what it'll do. Right, we've put this on now, but we think it might start to swing away before we get it past horizontal. So the pallet forks will come away from the frame. Right, so they're not, they're not coming away at all, really. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, well that's pretty horizontal that, so we could, we could ratchet strap it, or if we got one of them frames for moving three point linkage machinery, you could have it so you could go full, full tilt maybe. Yeah, we could try that. Today's birthday bumper is probably one of the biggest we've ever seen, 16 names on it, but it means it's gone up by 225 pounds since yesterday. So here it is, quickly. If you can hear me over the roller shut door rattling in the wind, we've got Georgie Standens on there, Maisie Andrews is five, Andrew Laycock is 55, Alan Rutledge is 55 as well, um, and also he's uh, not been so good recently, but his family are very proud of how he's doing. Uh, Kyle Walker's on there, he's 30, Lisa Bryan is 50, Ollie Wilson is 16, good name, Richard Rainford is 64, I'm sure I know that Richard, there can't be that many Richard Rainfords. Alan Pilling is on there, Caleb Forsh is 14, James Luce is 8, Freddie Davis is 18, Alex Daniels 21, Daniel Mason's 39, 
George Baker is on there and Paul Allen is 60. And look at that, £64,725. Happy birthday, everyone on there. I need a bigger bonnet than anyone else whose birthday is today. Now, how many people fast forwarded and how many people didn't? Let me know in the comments. That's today's quiz question. That is all for today. Long video, sorry about that. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow when hopefully that water's gone.